Hey, what is up everybody? Welcome back to the Mid-Level Media channel, your hub for everything physical media and entertainment. I am Ken, and today guys, I am here for a collection update. I like to do these every week, every couple of weeks, just to show you all uh, what I'm bringing into the collection, because I don't know like what I'm going to cover sometimes, like some stuff I get through, some stuff I don't, so I just like to kind of go over everything um, at once. So I've got some stuff that I got in from Amazon that I ordered this week, and I've also got four packages from some very generous subscribers to unbox um, as well that I'm very excited to get into some subscriber mail. Before we get into it though, like, comment, subscribe, all that YouTube stuff, you know, and uh, yeah, do all that stuff. Let's go ahead and get into it, guys. I'm going to be very casual in this video because I'm kind of, quite frankly, I'm exhausted. I'm just <laughs> exhausted right now. It is kind of late, but uh, I wanted to get this done. I wanted to film this video and I'm excited to do it. Let me show you all what I got in the mail. Like I said, from Amazon, really excited about this one. Expect a review for this this week. I'm going to try to watch it when I get done with this video. Uh, but So I Married an Axe Murderer uh, came out this week on 4K, and this slipcover is beautiful. I love it. So this is a Sony release, so I'm expecting quality in the 4K transfer. And look at the back right there. This is a super underrated Mike Myers movie, in my opinion. I used to watch this all the time when I was a kid. I am an OG Mike Myers fan. Like I loved him on Saturday Night Live. Simon, the kid with the playpen on his back that was hyperglycemic and hyperactive. Like, I just remember uh, Sprockets, all the characters of Mike Myers. I remember watching when I was a kid. Wayne's World, of course. Like, I loved Wayne's World. That was probably, like, one of the earlier comedies that I have memories with. That's probably my still my favorite comedy of all time. Austin Powers, of course. Shrek, like, he's got so many bangers and franchises, but this is a movie that he did in the 90s, the early 90s, that did not become a franchise, and I think it's really awesome and super underrated, and really, it's kind of, you know, a dark comedy. He thinks that uh, his his fiance or his wife, I guess, because he married her, is an axe murderer and actually is out to kill him, so it's kind of an interesting, like, dynamic between the two of them, um, and it's been a long, long time since I've seen it, probably at least 15 years since I've seen this movie, I think the last time I saw it was on TV, on cable or something. I don't think I've ever owned this in my collection. So very excited to revisit it. And like I said, I just love the artwork on this one. I think it looks awesome. And this, of course, is the 30th anniversary. God, this one came out in 1993. So this is what it came out, I think, the year after uh, the first Wayne's World did. So that's very cool. Uh, but yeah, on the back right there, showing that off, you can see the, you know, synopsis and, and all that good stuff and the bonus features, the specs at the bottom. And I believe that this does have over 30 minutes of never before seen deleted scenes. So that's very cool. There's actually new special features on this. So let me take this out of uh, the slip cover and I'll show you the front. I'll show you the back. I thought there maybe would have been different uh, artwork inside because sometimes they do that with the Sony 4Ks. I think they did that with I Know What You Did Last Summer and Adaptation. They had different artwork on the inside than the slip covers. All right, let me take this plastic off. It's always a struggle taking plastic off, guys. Every time I get done with one of these videos, I got trash everywhere. All right, uh, there we go. Bam, bam. You got a little bit more. You got the casting list on the back without the slip cover. Open it up. You do get a digital code here. And uh, we only get the 4K disc. There is no Blu-ray here, but at least they put special features on the 4K. So you got to give them a little bit credit for that. Some people don't do that. Um, but yeah, kind of a, a bare bones release, I guess. There's not like a, a booklet or anything in here. Um, but yeah, a little disappointed they didn't include the Blu-ray though, because I would have wanted a Blu-ray version of this as well. And I'm checking for reversible cover art, but of course there is none. It's not a boutique release. And again, digital code that you get with this as well. So really awesome though, guys. I'm looking forward to watching this, reviewing it on the channel. So definitely stay tuned for that. And next up, really looking forward to checking this one out as well. This is the next uh, in the Vestron video line. This is number 30 in that line. And that is my best friend is a vampire. Uh, so don't know too much about this. I'm, I'm seeing on the back, I'm seeing David Warner on the back right there. So that's pretty cool. And I'll show you the synopsis, but I'm all in on collecting for the Vestron video line. So I will get every single one that they release 
And I'm looking and seeing that this is rated PG as well. So I guess it's not that violent. Uh, with the title like My Best Friend's a Vampire. Uh, but it looks like, you know, there's a good amount of special features here. That's what I love about these Vestron Lionsgate releases. This is 11 99 I don't mean to shit on Sony, but I'll just use them as an example real quick. I believe that this was $22.99. And again, there's 30 minutes of special features, new special features, theatrical trailers, but that's it. Uh, with this, this is eleven ninety nine. dollars um, You get the Blu-ray, you get the digital. And special features, guys. Audio commentary with the director. Uh, you get interviews, a most alternative lifestyle, a conversation with writer and associate producer uh, Tab Murphy um, and production executive uh, Ken uh, Gavin with Grimsdyke, an interview with actor Paul Wilson, theatrical trailer, teaser trailer, still gallery. So, so much more special features in this than the uh, So I Married an Axe Murder. And this is $11.99 right now. So you, you just cannot beat Lionsgate and Vestron Video in particular in their pricing. It's just absolutely astounding. So let's take this out of the slipcover, take the plastic off, um, and I'm sure this has got some, some cool discard as well. Yeah, I'm looking forward to watching this one. To be honest, like, I don't know. Maybe I'll check this one out first because uh, my wife, I think, said she wanted to watch So I Married an Axe Murder, so maybe we'll watch that tomorrow and I'll watch uh, My Best Friend's a Vampire tonight. And I'm sure it's, uh, of course, I'm dropping it everywhere. Let me bend it. Look, I'm not going to cut anything out of this video. You're going to see all the mistakes. Um, but there you go. There's the front. There's the back. Some cool stuff, guys. Love it, love it, love it. And we'll go ahead and open this up. And, yeah, you get a digital code on the inside. And you get some cool uh, discard as well. And, yeah, it's in an eco case. But who cares when they're... Like, th this deserves an eco case. $11.99. Come on, just great stuff. And I, I love the slip covers. You know, they're like boutique quality slip covers, nice slip covers. And yeah, I just love collecting for Vestron video. I think it's awesome. And I haven't seen this movie, but I'm sure it's pretty cool. I'm excited to check it out. Um, and also, I got uh, Hollywood Dreams and Nightmares, the Robert Englund story. So this is a documentary on, of course, Robert Englund, who was Freddy Krueger, but he was also in a lot of other movies. So I'm excited to check this one out as well. And we'll show you the back and learn more about Robert Anglin. You got Freddy on there on the back, of course. Um, and it looks like this has some special features as well. Horror icons. Nightmare Cafe with Jack Coleman. A conversation with the directors. Robert Anglin Chatterbox. A peek behind the curtain. Dance Macabre. Um, and the official trailer as well. So some cool stuff right here. And this is number 11 in the Scream Box line, which is a new line that I think Cynodyme started uh, probably, I'm trying to think, I think it was October of last year. I think it was, or maybe it was November, but it was the It uh, documentary, the Pennywise documentary. They also did Terrifier uh, 2, that was their second. And then the Chucky documentary was their third. And then they jumped straight to 11. So I don't know where four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten are, uh, but they jumped over seven. So I don't know if they're gonna release those later on down the line. Why they did it this way, I have no clue. But at least you guys know that we're going to get seven other in this line, and this is number 11, or maybe we won't get any, and this is just something kooky that they did. So I, I don't know why they did this, but it's it's so weird. There's also a Steelbook um, as well. It's a Walmart exclusive. And you have different artwork on the inside, too, and you take that slipcover off. So very cool. Um, very cool stuff. Show you the back again. And yeah, I'm excited to check this one out. Learn more about uh, the horror icon uh, that is Robert Englund. You know, because he wasn't just Freddy. Like, he was in so many other movies. Uh, one horror movie in particular I remember him from is Urban Legend. I do remember him very vividly in that one. And we'll go ahead and open it up. No digital code or anything like that. Very basic disc art right there. But yeah, this is a cool release. And uh, I'm excited to check this one out as well. Hopefully, I'll get a chance to watch it this week. But yeah, those are the three new pickups. All of these released this week. Now, I will address the uh, Kino Lorber 4K situation that I'm dealing with right now. I did pre-order uh, To Live and Die in LA on 4K and Needful Things on 4K. But for some reason, when you order a Kino Lorber 4K off of Amazon, um, it takes forever to get those in. So I need to figure out a different way, especially if it's something that I just really want that week to review because I really want to do a review of To Live and Die in LA. You know, maybe I'll order it off a of Diabolic or something like that. Yeah, I, I'm still waiting on them. I, I think I just got the shipping notification for Needful Things on 4K. So hopefully To Live and Die in LA uh, will be soon to follow. But 
All right, just wanted to update you guys on that in case you were wondering, uh, you know, why I haven't got those. I did, I just haven't got them in yet. All right, let's go ahead and get into my subscriber mail. And uh, this first one is from Ryan Nar. So Ryan Nar sent me a ton of packages. I'm still getting through them. I'm trying to do at least one or two every uh, subscriber unboxing. So sorry, Ryan. Uh, but I'll go ahead and get his open uh, right here and now. And then uh, all the other three, I think, came from different people. Uh, which again, thank you all so much for. I'm all. I'm just. I'm just look. I. I've, I've done this so many times already. It might feel like I'm become like desensitized to it, but it still blows me away. Like every time I open up a box, I'm like, somebody actually took the time, you know, and spent the money, or you know, gave it to me out of their collection to box this stuff up to ship it to me. Like it really means a lot. Like I just. I cannot fathom that somebody would even want to do that for me um, in this channel. So thank you all so much. Um, Downtown Abbey. Season six, Ryan sends me just some of the craziest stuff sometimes. It's always like a mystery box with Ryan. I, I still love it. Like, I love the surprise of it just to see what he's going to send. Uh, the Ant Bully on Blu-ray. I don't think I have that. I can honestly say I don't have it. Uh, Wonder on, on Blu-ray. I do have this. I actually feel like somebody else sent this to me and I already had it on Blu-ray. So I feel like I may have three copies of Wonder on Blu-ray right now. Uh, so if anybody needs a copy of Wonder on Blu-ray, hit me up. Uh, we got War right here. Jet Li, Jason Statham. I haven't seen this. Um, this is a Lionsgate. Does this have a 4K? Because I feel like this would be a cool Lionsgate 4K steelbook. And this is interesting. Marry Me on DVD. I remember watching this on Peacock. I thought this was a streaming exclusive. Did it get a physical release? I guess it did. Um, and then we got uh, Crystal. This looks pretty interesting. Billy Bob Thornton. Uh, Lisa Blo Bloat. Bloat. Is that her name? Uh, but I haven't seen this one. Um, so yeah, this uh, this feels like a title that's also just on DVD. So that's cool. Yeah, there's some cool stuff in there. I'm excited to get War. I haven't seen this one. So, um, but yeah, thank you, Ryan. I appreciate it. Let me set that over to the side. I always get tied up in my freaking mic, knocking everything off the table, guys. All right, so this package comes from Australia. Hell yeah, mate, Down Under. We got a package from Down Under. And it comes from Chris in Australia. So thank you, Chris. Let me open this up. Oh, I'm excited. What am I getting from Australia? Australia's got some cool physical media stuff. Oh my God. What is this? What is this? What is this? I got Hellraiser and plastic. I think these might be umbrella releases. I hope it's the umbrella releases with the really like weird artwork. Like that would be awesome. Now I do have the arrows of Hellraiser one and two. But I wonder if there's anything new as far as special features on the, uh, you know, umbrella ones. But yeah, I, I really like the cover, though, for the second one. That's awesome. That's freaking awesome. I like the cover for the second one. Now, the first one's just the, the standard cover. But yeah, let me know whoever sent this to me. Are these, do these have different special features? Maybe I could do a comparison between these and the uh, arrow ones. But yeah, these are really cool. I like the discard. I like the artwork here. Does this have reversible? No, it does not. Because I know, didn't Umbrella do the first one? Um, and it had like this really weird like slip cover to it. Um, but yeah, that's interesting. Let me get into this other one real quick. Let me try to cut this open. All right, so I ripped it. This is very well packaged. Oh my goodness, this was like a freaking awesome addition. What is this? Is this, um, look at this. Look at that slip cover. Or that cover, that lenticular. Oh my God. That's freaking awesome. What is this? It's a 4K for one. 4K lenticular cover box set, digipack. Like that is super cool. I'm not going to unbox this though. Who put this out? Was this ViaVision? I don't know who put this out. Let me know who put this out. But yeah, this is freaking awesome. I love it. Thank you so much, man. Thank you so much. This is awesome. Um, for sure. Um, yeah, thank you, Chris. Let's get into the next uh, package. I feel like I know what this one is. This person reached out to me and let me know they were going to send it. And I'm so grateful uh, that they did. Um, and I know not everybody is a super fan of this movie. And this was sent to me by Jay Shrum. So thank you so much. But he sent over the Walmart exclusive Skinamarink Steelbook. So I am very excited to have this in the collection. I didn't buy the slipcover version. I did want the Steelbook, but... I never pulled the trigger on it, so he was kind enough to reach out and, and offered to send this one to me. 
Uh, but super cool. Look, I I like this movie. I really did. I was very, I, I don't want to say I was creeped out, but I was unsettled watching it. Um, so yeah, I did like Skinamarink, and I was ex I'm excited to have this steelbook. I think I love the artwork. It's the poster, but I think it's super cool. And on the back, you got the kid, you know, the back of his head. So that's awesome. Thank you so much. I am so excited to have the Skinamarink steelbook um, in my collection. Now let's go ahead and get into the last uh, box. This is from Scott E. From Scott E. All right, let's open this sucker up. What do we got in here? I, just, I feel like there's some good stuff in here. I just really do. I have no idea what's in here, but I feel like there's some good stuff. Oh my goodness. We got uh, somebody's offloading some of their stuff. They're getting ready to upgrade to 4K. That's what this says. We got Duel on Blu-ray. So if I want to check this out before the 4K comes out, I can. Uh, but I love this uh, this artwork, though. So that's super cool. So yeah, thank you for sending me Duel on Blu-ray. I do plan on getting the 4K, though. Uh, we also have The Boys Season 2. And this is on Blu-ray, so I'm pretty sure I'll have to, you know, play this on my region free player if I want to watch it. But I did like The Boys, and I did make it to Season 2. Uh, but I didn't continue on for some reason. I don't know why. I liked it, but for whatever reason, I kind of fell off. But that's Season 2. And he also, I think this person reached out to me as well. I got The Boys Season 1. But it's, I don't think that these, actually, I do think Season 1 and 2 came out in like a double pack here. Uh, but very cool. You got both of them with different cover art. And the guy that played Homelander was freaking haunting. Like, he was crazy scary um, in that show. So I'm excited to, you know, recheck that out at some point. Oh, this is really cool. Uh, the Four Musketeers. And I think this was a Studio Canal release. And this might be... Is this a 4K? I, think, I don't know if this is a 4K or not. Might just be a Blu-ray, but... Yeah, really cool. I remember when this came out, The Four Musketeers on Blu-ray. Thank you so much for sending that as well. And I got a couple of other things in here. And I got a notes. I forgot to check for notes. Maybe some other people sent notes too. I'm checking now. I don't like to miss the notes. Uh, let's see. We got some digital codes here. And these are movies that I already have in my collection. So maybe he's wanting me to give these away in this video, possibly. So I'll go ahead and give these away right now. We have a Sicario, Day of the Soldado. All right, I'm going to do this kind of quick. I'm only going to hold them up for about three seconds. We also got Hellboy, I think, from 2019. Bam. We got Mad Max, The Road Warrior, I believe, on 4K. Bam. And we got John Wick 1 through 3. Oh, man, that's awesome. I don't know if that's 4K or if that's Blu-ray. We got uh, the Batman on 4K. Or maybe it's just Blu-ray. I'm not real sure. Might be 4K. Uh, we got Dread. Either Blu-ray or 4K. And I hope all these work. And we got Punisher Warzone as well. Maybe Blu-ray, maybe 4K. So yeah, thank you, man. Thank you uh, for sending the codes. And hope some, hopefully some people got them. Uh, but let's see. Hey, Ken, got a few things for you here. Do what you want with the digitals. They are from different versions of physical disc I bought, so they are good. The Four Musketeers and the first season of The Boys are Region B uh, Blu-rays. Thanks for all your hard work. You're like a member of the family. Ha, 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 Scott. Well, thank you so much, Scott. You're like a member of my family as well, the physical media family uh, here on YouTube. So thank you so much. Thank you, everybody. This is just amazing. Like I said, the fact that, that you all would even think to send me this kind of stuff is just amazing. Like, I love my Skin Marink Steelbook so much. I think this is so freaking nice. Um, the Reservoir Dogs, you know, uh, Four Musketeers, the boys. So nice. Thank you all so much. Thank you all for watching this haul video slash subscriber unboxing. Like, comment, subscribe, turn on the bell notifications, and follow me on all my social media accounts. Those links are down below in the description, and we'll see you next time.